hey guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel so this is ijoma Igwele. on this video you guys are going to be learning a lot quite a lot because i'm going to be telling you six top skills highly demanded skills that you can use in any organization and they are highly requested but before i continue this video please do well to subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell and also like this video and don't forget to comment your thoughts in the comment section so let's dive right into the main video so you guys these skills are highly demanded and these skills can make you a millionaire if not a billionaire these are the main skills that are required by major companies you're gonna see yourself landing that dream job of yours so the number one skill that you should have and it's highly requested and re demanded in various companies is becoming a data analyst you guys a lot of companies need a data analyst because they make use of data they make use of information and it is expected for them to collect that information analyze it present it interpret it using some various tools and what are the tools for you to make do with that, those functions i just mentioned some tools that are used in um, analyzing data are you can use a um, python language python is a programming language you guys there are various platforms for you to learn all these things that i'm talking about even youtube here learn python and you also you can make use of our language you can also make use of um, google sheets you can also make use of microsoft excel Shit. So these are the tools for you to interpret your data, collect your data, and also analyze and present your data. So these are the tools that you can use. And believe you me, an average salary that a data analyst can collect in a month is $97,000. You guys, what are you waiting for? What is stopping you from learning these skills and becoming a billionaire, if not a billionaire, in a month? you guys what are you waiting for please get done with this video just do well to go and have those skills and get the dream job of your choice a data analyst can also be called a business analyst so don't be confused when you see um business analyst needed da 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 da, da. so it's also the same thing as data analyst so these skills can be learned in less than six months there is no excuse for you to give of not becoming a data analyst number two skill that is highly demanded this year 2022 is becoming software developer you guys software development can be learned on any platform also we have coursera we have so many platforms make your research you're going to, to enable you to learn software development so these are the people that produce web apps these are the people that produce android applications that we use these are the people that produce uh what they call it apple devices so you can just venture into any um software of your choice if it's to be producing windows or so just know the, your choice and you know move into it so they are called software engineer application developer they are also called system developers also called DevOps engineer an average salary that a software developer can earn in a month is one hundred and eight thousand dollars you guys look at all your money so what is stopping you from becoming a software developer the next question is what are the tools for you to become a software developer so Python Java C++ uh, we have um, JavaScript and so many of them so for you to learn all these tools you know there are various platforms for you to learn them so visit those platforms and become a software developer today number three another major skill that is needed in some companies are user experience developers a lot of companies have websites for you to become prominent for you to become known in today's world you need to have a website you get and um, your customers should be able to interact in your on your website if your customers cannot interact on that interface majorly your your business is just like becoming a dumb because your customers cannot interact on your website so the user experience will enable a customer to be interact on that interface for example just like we have an amazon interface and you just want to log in register you know buy some goods this is what we call user 
experience interface you get the point particular skill is needed in various companies you get the point they are also called ux user experience writers user experience designers they are called user experience researcher this user experience helps to you know make research of a particular product design the interface of um where the customers can be able to you know get the product so the average salary of a user experience developer ninety eight thousand dollars so guys nothing is stopping you there are various platforms to you know learn this number four is web development you guys web development i cannot overemphasize on this because a lot of companies make use of website if you want to start a meaningful business today you need a website so what is stopping you from becoming a web site developer you get the point we have the front end developer we have the back end developer and we have the full stack developer which is the combination of front end and back end so guys so there are so many tools for you to become a full stack if you don't want to become just only a front end or you don't want to become only a back end because we have professional um front end developer we have professional back end developer and we have the combination of two but for you to be able to compete with the market with today's market i will advise that you become a full stack developer which is a combination of front end and you know back end for you to become a front end developer you should be able to you know program with the following languages html css javascript and bootstrap you guys <laughs> this is my field that's why i'm so um I have like that's why i'm so common with it this is my field if you don't know i read computer science and i am a web developer you get the point so that is just it for you to become a front-end developer you should be able to you know know the following language javascript html css and also know a javascript framework which is react so that is just it so for you to become a back-end developer you should also at least know know js mysql or python you get the point so those are just the languages for back-end developer so the combination of both will make you a full stack developer and an average salary of a web developer is one hundred and four thousand dollars <laughs> oh boy oh but these are all your money so why are you wasting time please do well to make your research more and you know get quick into the skill so that you can be employed by various you know companies and yeah number five is content creation and management like you all know i'm also a content creator I'm making a content for you guys this is just a content i'm making for you guys so it's just as easy as that we have bloggers we have social media uh, managers we have and um, digital marketers these are content creators me as a youtuber i'm a content creator i'm making content for you guys for you guys to watch and get informed so you can venture into any of these make more research and know the one you want to venture into you get the point also called brand marketer manager so the average salary of a content creator is seventy six thousand dollars so you guys it's so easy so try as much as possible to learn these skills visit um, platforms for you to you know learn this particular skill and you know get ready to be employed by different you know companies the last but not the least skill that you should have in this year 2022 is becoming a project manager you guys a lot of companies need a project manager because so many companies deal with projects okay a product manager coordinate different team members in different departments to work on a particular product so the average salary for a project manager is eighty nine thousand dollars you guys so a project manager so those team members will be responsible for you know producing managing and also organizing um, the products so the project manager will have to coordinate all these team members to achieve a particular you know product they are called project manager project coordinator portfolio manager so don't be confused wherever you see a vacancy of portfolio manager and you're confused i don't know what's portfolio manager so they are all called project manager so you guys if you've learned something meaningful from this video please do well to subscribe hit the like button 
and also hit the notification bell for you to get updates anytime i upload a new video so thanks for watching see you in my next video peace out